Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I wanted to share my Christmas journal collection for 2023. They will be available for sale on Etsy and I'll leave all the information, including the date and time they go on sale, in the description box for you. There are eight journals in total and I've made three hardcover journals and five softcover journals. And I'll start with the smallest journals first. So I'll start with the soft covers and then I'll move on to the hard covers. So these are the soft cover journals. They've been made from Craftex and I've made them in two different sizes. There are three small ones and they measure about five inches by seven inches. And there are two mini ones and they measure four inches by six inches. I have painted the Craftex and embossed the covers and I've highlighted them with a the gold wax. The window images are from a vintage Christmas book. I've also sewed around the edges of the journal and also around the centre image. There are approximately 24 pages or 48 sides front and back in each journal. I'll just give you a quick look at all of the journals and show you some of the pages inside each journal. I'm not going to be showing you each one in depth as they are all made the same way and they include the same variety of papers but it's just to give you some sort of idea. So I'll start with the mini ones first. So this is the brown journal and as you can see my stitching around the window isn't perfect but I feel like that adds to its charm. In the window is an image of a child ice skating and this is the back. So here is a look at the pretty beads on this journal and as you can see there is this pretty acorn charm which is super cute. So they've all been lined with some scrapbook paper and some brown tape down the spine to help reinforce it. So they all have similar sorts of paper so I'll just give you a quick glimpse. I've also sewn some tabs on some of the pages for decoration. So there's some cream paper, music paper, lined paper, children's book page, there's some pockets sewn into the journal as well, craft paper, they also have a paper bag pocket, some vintage ledger paper, some more children's book page, another one of those sewn tabs. So that was a little look at the brown one. This is the cream one and again on this one my stitching isn't perfect. In the window there is this girl and she has a snowball in her hand and this is the back of the journal and these are the beads and they've all got this acorn charm on them. So again I'll just give you a quick look at some of the papers. So the scrapbook and papers are all from the same brand. So there's crepe paper and craft consortium. There's a couple of other brands as well. This one has a red paper bag pocket. And hopefully it'll just give you a little bit of an idea of the sorts of pages that are in each journal. They all have pockets, they all have tabs. So that was a little look at the cream one. Next up is the blue one and this one is the next size up so this is five by seven inches and as you can see I've done some stitching around the centre image and in the window is a Christmas tree with a pretty star on the top and I love the embossing folder on this one it's some reindeers and this is the back. These are the beads on this journal and they still have the acorn charm. So I'll just give you a quick look inside this one too. So they still have the sewn tabs on them. There's just slightly bigger pages and slightly bigger pockets. And in this size journal, they all have a brown paper bag. And they have a fold out. Another fold out. So that was a quick look at the blue one. This is the red one and in the window is Father Christmas or Santa Claus. And this is a look at the back. And here is a look at the beads on this journal. Again, there's also an acorn charm. So again, I'll just give you another quick look inside this one. 
some sewing, scrapbook paper, vintage music paper, there's a fold out. They've all got a paper bag, they've all got the same sort of stitching. So that was a little look at the red one. So this is the last one, this is the green one and as you can see I've done some stitching around the centre image. I forgot to mention but on this one I've done some red stitching but on the red and the brown one I've done blue stitching. I basically tried to match the stitching with the image so if the window image was red it had red stitching and if the centre image was blue I had blue stitching. So this is the green one and in the window is a winter scene, it has some houses, some trees, I just think this one is really pretty. And then this is the back. Here are a look at the beads on this journal. And again, I'll just give you a quick look inside this one, just so you can get an idea of what scrapbooking papers you're working with and what kind of children's book pages. So again, similar sorts of pages, paper bag. So that was a little look at the green one. So each of these journals come with a little goodie bag. They are filled with about 30 pieces of ephemera and they have the same variety and the same number of items. There is a mix of both vintage and modern day pieces, so lots of goodies for you to play with in your new journal. So moving on to the hardcover journals, these have been made from scratch and I've painted them in gold, silver and bronze. They measure about five and three quarter inches by eight and a quarter inches. And I've added some wax around the edge to make it look distressed and I've embossed a sweet little bow under each of the images. They have about 60 pages or 120 sides front and back in each journal. So I'll start with showing you the gold one. So this is the gold one and in the window image is a beautiful family scene with a little Christmas tree in the background. Here is a sweet little bow. This is the back of the journal. The spine measures two inches and there are six signatures bound in with a wax linen thread. There is an eyelet at the top holding all the beads and charms. So here is a look at all the beads and charms. So there's a large button, I've added a bell. There's a pretty acorn charm which was on the smaller journals too. This journal also spells out the word star. And this little bead here, it's a blue rose and my mum will be so happy to see this one because she thrifted this one for me from a charity shop here in the UK or a thrift store if you're in the US. So all of the beads and charms here are either store bought or they are thrifted. And inside the journal, they've all been lined with some scrapbook paper and they were very similar to the small journals as they all have some sewn little tabs to decorate some of the pages. And I absolutely love this paper. It reminds me of some vintage wallpaper and you can see some of the other scrapbook papers here. So I'm just going to give you a really quick glimpse because the papers are very similar. They've all got the same types of paper. There's a double ledger page fold out here. And part of the fun of going through a journal is finding what papers are in each journal and seeing what inspires you. They've all got some sort of game sheet, pockets. I have left some blank pages in here as well. So for example, here is a white blank page and I wanted to keep some white pages so that you have the option of adding your own papers to them. And they all have an envelope bound in to one of the signatures. So that was a quick look at the gold one. So this is the silver one and in the window image is some children and it looks like they have been Christmas shopping. Again, you've got the embossed image on the front. This is a look at the back 
And then here is a look at the spine. Again, six signatures, little eyelet at the top. So here are the pretty beads and charms on this journal. There's a large button. On this one, there is a silver bell. This one spells out the word joy. You have the blue rose bead. There's the acorn charm. And I tried using some lighter and softer color beads on this journal. So there's some greens and blues. Just a really pretty selection of beads. So again, I'll just give you a quick glimpse on the inside, just so you can get a quick idea of what some of the pages look like. So that was a really quick look at the silver one. So this is the bronze one and the image is some children carol singing. You have the embossed bow at the bottom of the image. Here's a look at the back. And then again, the spine is exactly the same, six signatures and an eyelet at the top. And then here is a look at all the pretty beads and charms. So this one has a black button, has a gold bell. This one spells out the word Noel. It has that rose bead. There's the acorn bead. So lots of pretty beads on this one as well. And again, just another quick glimpse because the pages are very similar. Pockets. Pocket. So lots and lots of different types of papers. So that was a little look at the bronze one. So each of these journals come with a little goodie bag. These ones are a little bit bigger than the previous ones and they are filled with about 40 pieces of ephemera. They have the same variety and same number of items and there is a mix of both vintage and modern day pieces. So lots of goodies for you to play with in your new journal. So this is my Christmas collection for 2023. All of these journals will be going up in my Etsy shop. At the time of filming this video, I'm not 100% sure when that will be, but I will leave the information in the description box for you. I'm so excited to finally have my Christmas journal collection ready for sale. If you have any questions, please leave me a comment and I'll get back to you. I hope you're all doing really well. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.